From Bayer Neverkusen to Bayer Believerkusen, what Bayer Leverkusen are doing this season under Xabi Alonso is unprecedented in German football. They have become the first Bundesliga side ever to go 33 matches unbeaten in all competitions, which is a ridiculous feat from them. There is a reason why Bayer Leverkusen are called Bayer Neverkusen. Of course, the treble season that they had in 01-02 seasons where they finished runners-up in every competition they were in. Bayer Leverkusen have also finished runners-up the most times without winning the league title in any of the top leagues in Europe. But people, remember to download the number one sports app in the world, SofaScore, where you can check out all the stats for Bayer Leverkusen from goals per game, goals conversion, free kick goals, two out of nine. They're probably from Grimaldo. Big chances per game, big chances missed per game. Everything you can find on SofaScore for individual players to teams. So remember to download the SofaScore app. Link is in the description down below. So what Xabi Alonso is doing is unreal. They are currently eight points ahead of Bayern Munich and are already on 61 points. This time last year, Bayer Leverkusen were ninth position on 31 points. Granted, Xabi Alonso did come into the job in early October, but it just shows you the amount of progress this team has made under him. The termination, the mentality, there is something special with this Bayer Leverkusen side at the moment. And they're top of the Bundesliga. They're in the semifinals of the DFB Pokal. They're going up against their rivals Fortuna Dusseldorf. And in the round of 16 of the Europa League, they have a familiar opponent in Karabakh who they destroyed in the group stage. So the stars are aligning for Bayer Leverkusen. Can they actually do this? Can they win a trophy? They have won two trophies in the club's history. The DFB Pokal once and the UEFA Cup once. Nothing else, never a Bundesliga. There's just so much talent on this team when you think of Kuzunu to Ta to Hinkapie to Tapzoba to obviously Granit Xhaka is unbelievable this season. Granit Xhaka is one of the best signings this season in all of Europe. Maturity, the leadership, the goals, the passing, everything with Granit Xhaka this season, it just shows he's such a mature player to what he was at Arsenal where, yeah, a little bit hot and cold, this season under Xabi Alonso, the guy is a leader. And when you're discussing about Bayer Leverkusen, the main thing you have to talk about is the two fullbacks, Grimaldo and Frimpong. They have been involved in 32 out of the 59 goals scored by Bayer Leverkusen this season. 32 out of 59, over 50% from the two fullbacks. We know Frimpong, the guy is just rapid, he's very direct. Grimaldo, a bit more of a technician, very good technical skill. They complement each other so well, and they are just so elite at what they want to do. And with the coaching of Xabi Alonso, these two fullbacks are playing the best in all of Europe, alongside Di Marco and other guys. And then obviously you have Florian Wirtz, you have Jonas Hoffmann. Crazy thing is, Palacios and Victor Bonifaz are both injured for a while, and they're still performing. And it's also not just about, okay, they're winning games, but it's about the late winners they're getting, like at RB Leipzig. They beat Mainz with a crazy goal. The football gods are shining right now on Bayer Leverkusen. So my question to everybody watching this video is, will they do it? We've seen this and you can never get comfortable with the Bundesliga. While they're playing amazing football, what happens when they lose the game? How will they react? Well, I think under a manager like Xabi Alonso, clearly this guy, he has learned from the greatest coaches in the world, from Pep Guardiola to Jose Mourinho to Carlo Ancelotti. He knows how to deal with adversity. He knows how to deal with criticism. He just inflicts it onto his players and the players just know how to react. And everything about the football is brilliant. And a lot of channels have talked about the tactics of it. I'm not gonna go into it because I'm not a tactician, but it's just about when you watch them play, there is just coaching. Every player knows their role. There's a bit of more freedom with this team. They're allowed to express themselves. Yes, it's a bit more position football, but also the players, they're enjoying it. And you can tell with Grimaldo to Florian Wirtz with his nutmegs he's doing in the game. It is just sensational to watch Bayer Leverkusen. I'm really happy for this club, but now it's cute. All right, you're winning games. You're playing good football. Everybody's loving Xabi Alonso. Everybody wants Xabi Alonso. But when the going gets tough, how will they react? Because the pressure will definitely be there. There is a reason why they're called Never Kuzin, because they've never won, except for two titles. How will they respond with, let's say, five games to go, they got a five point lead. They know if they lose the game, the pressure is really gonna amp up. I'm really fascinated to see how Bayer Leverkusen react to a loss if they do lose. Hey, they could go unbeaten, which would be one of the greatest achievements in football history. I don't care about, oh, they drew this game, they drew that game. If they go undefeated in the Bundesliga, which no team has ever done, by the way, no team has ever gone unbeaten in the Bundesliga, 
one of the greatest achievements ever. So now I want to look at the remaining schedule for this season. Obviously, we've got to take into account that they're still going to play maybe quarterfinals, semifinals of the Europa League. But they got FC Köln next. Derby game could be tough. Karabakh, they will deal with them. Wolfsburg, they will deal with them. Karabakh at home, they will deal with them. Freiburg away is never easy. I will say that. It's never easy. Hoffenheim at home, W. Dusseldorf at home, it better be a W. Dusseldorf are in the second division. Union Berlin away, could be difficult, but maybe they can get a narrow win. Werder Bremen at home, they will win. Dortmund away, we don't know what Dortmund. We don't even know if Terzic is going to be manager by then. Because, yeah, Terzic is not doing well. Stuttgart at home, that is a tricky, tricky game. And also Stuttgart could be fighting for Champions League spots then. Eintracht Frankfurt away next. Bochum away. Augsburg at home. If you look at that schedule, people. There's no Leipzig, obviously no more Bayern, and they got Stuttgart at home. Only difficulty for them is Dortmund away and Eintracht Frankfurt away, and Afsa Köln away because it's a derby game and Afsa Köln, they need to start picking up points. If you look at that schedule, the stars are aligning. You have to start believing if you're Leverkusen. I'm pretty sure they're believing right now. They got eight point lead with 11 games to go. They can afford to lose two games, but you really, as a neutral, somebody who's not with any Bundesliga team, the dominance of Bayern Munich, it might come to an end this season. And that would be the best. I think that is the best thing for German football. That Bayern Munich's dominance ends. Because we saw when Dortmund and Bayern Munich were going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the Bundesliga. Look how the German national team was doing. They were winning World Cups. They were going into semifinals of the Euros. Ever since it's been Bayern, Bayern, Bayern. Look at the German national team. Why Leverkusen do it? Out of all the teams. Not Dortmund. Not RB Leipzig. Uh, Schalke. <laughs> Schalke, please. Don't get relegated. Don't get relegated. If Bayer Leverkusen somehow do this and they destroy all the narratives around this club being Leverkusen, it, it would be a sensational, sensational moment for German football. And it all comes down to Xabi Alonso. Because Xabi Alonso is just that guy. is improving as a manager. Look, this is his first real job. He was Real Sociedad's B team manager. This is his first job. And the work he is doing for being in a first job... You cannot match it. So will Bayer Leverkusen do this? That will be the question that we will ask every single week until there's five games to go and they got eight points. And I think at that point, if that is the case, I think everybody will say Bayer Leverkusen will be Bundesliga champions for the first time. But we are still in February. I'm not getting ahead of myself. But if I had to give a percentage, I would say 70% for Bayer Leverkusen right now. 30% for Bayern Munich. Even though Bayern Munich are not the greatest, they just they have that know-how. They got the experience. Buy Leverkusen don't, but I'm really hoping that Leverkusen can do this. One, because I'm selfish because there's a Finnish player and he's captain, Lukas Radecki. Shout out to my goalkeeper. But I think it's just the best thing for German football. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Will Buy Leverkusen do this? And also, who is the most important player on this team? I think it's Granit Xhaka. I think Granit Xhaka has just been amazing this season throughout the Bundesliga. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. Till next time. Adios.